It would be made an impression in his first game back from his four-game suspension last night as he scored a goal for the Sabres in their victory over the Leafs at the Marine Midland Arena. So there was Barnaby helping his team to victory. It's all he really wants. It's just that the way that Barnaby goes about it doesn't play to rave reviews anywhere outside of Buffalo. If I told you that uh, you are one of the most unpopular players in the NHL, would you be surprised? No, no, I definitely wouldn't be surprised because I say a lot of things when I'm out on the ice, and sometimes I probably say things that I probably shouldn't shouldn't say that you know get myself into trouble while I'm out there and, and don't make me popular with other players. But once I'm out on the ice, it's kind of I'm a totally different person, and I don't think about what I'm saying. The atmosphere in an NHL building can often be electric. Um, are you overcome by the desire to, to entertain, to be a crowd pleaser? I love entertaining. I, I love being a focal point on the ice. Um, that's, you know, people pay a lot of money to come see us play and, and pay big salaries around the league. Um, so every time I go on the ice, I want people to be happy um, that they came to saw hockey. It's that burning desire to please. It sometimes gets the best of Matthew Burnaby, but often brings out the best. If the uh, coach was to say to you, Matthew, tonight, uh, under the threat of gunpoint, go out there and just play, don't talk, maybe you couldn't be as good as you are if you're not agitating, not stirring things up. You know what, I read my draft report when the year I was drafted, and uh, Larry Carrier said, you know, this guy's a better player when he gets beat up twice in a game. You know, sometimes it, it takes me melting off to the other team, um, yelling at a guy on our bench because he hasn't got the puck out or, or just getting myself into the game. You know, I, I'm an emotional person on and off the ice and I, I care how our team does, I care how I do. You know, you can't change who you are. He can be the spark plug, not the heavyweight, but often the first guy in. Not the goal scorer, but the playmaker with good hands. According to some reviews, he was the Sabres' best player in last spring's long playoff run. He's not the team leader, but Matthew Barnaby can take charge. Well, the one thing he does bring is emotion and spirit on nights when the season starts to drag on and you're playing three games in four nights. He knows exactly when to stir it up and, and try, to, try to cause some commotion to get your team going. Uh, he's really good at antagonizing. Uh, I think the one thing he doesn't get credit for is he's an extremely good playmaker and skater and, and, and can make things happen offensively that lifts our team too. Uh, does it bother you that uh, despite how well you played in the playoffs last year, you just could not get the credit for it? People didn't want to acknowledge that as much as they did your reputation for, for talking and agitating. Uh, you know, it's tough, but, you know, I, I didn't help myself with my reputation either. I've, I've, that's what's got me to the NHL. I think that's what got me to junior, making junior was, was fighting and, and being an agitator. So, you know, it takes a little time to get, a, get rid of that reputation. And if I have a couple 20-goal seasons, a couple... 50 point years and, and you know and I stopped talking as much as I did you know I'll get a little more respect. So he's working on it but not fast enough to suit some people. I'll tell you one thing it must be tough on guys like Pekka seeing stuff and Rob Ray seeing stuff like this. Let's just roll it and watch how he makes a fool of the referees. Now watch he gives a goalie a shot a shot after the thing. Now watch him turtle again look at him go down sickening person all over. Now watch he's laughing at the referee here See, he's saying to his teammates, you see what he's saying to his teammates? I fooled the referee again. And the guy is, could be a good hockey player, but he picked it up right off now. Phony, phony, phony. So there you have it. You are slagged on a regular basis by the most prominent hockey broadcaster in Canada. How does that make you feel? Well, an icon, like you, we said before. I guess, uh, you know, it's, it's tough, but everyone has their own opinion. And if Don Cherry doesn't like the way I play hockey or or what I bring to the game of hockey, then, then that's his own opinion. But uh, as a young kid, you know, he was my idol, and he's a lot of idols to a lot of people, and he has a lot of influence on people out there. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to win him over in the long run. Mother's Day, and Matthew Barnaby's mom, Sandra, is here from Ottawa. Mother's Day in the playoffs last spring. You scored three goals against Montreal, and your mother is there to see it all. Is there some magic in that? Well, for sure. I mean, knowing how close our family is, um, you know, it was the, the greatest gift I could ever give him, and I don't even think I got her a card besides it, so um, hopefully she wasn't too upset. But it was a magical moment and something I don't know that I could ever duplicate. His mother raised him as a single parent with the help of an older brother. 
So Barnaby has always known the value of family. Now he's the father of a six-month-old boy. This 25-year-old agitator has begun to see the big picture. It's unbelievable. It changes your whole perspective on life. It doesn't matter how bad things are at work, even get suspended and losing pay for four games. You know, you come home, see him smile, and the things he brings you, those are the most important things, making sure your family back home is taken care of, making sure your wife's family is taken care of here. Um, as long as everyone's taken care of and your health is good, you know, nothing else matters.